I had a really good idea for this video. Um, a buddy of mine and I go shooting um, before winter hits, before it gets really cold in Wisconsin. And normally what I do is I, I usually make targets because if we just go out shooting, we just shoot into an open field and we're not really hitting anything unless it's some barrel that he has left over that probably has over a thousand rounds in it. So there's not a real target system. So what I like to do is I like to make my own targets. And uh, I'm pretty sure everybody's seen this before. It's uh, tan right. Basically, you um, you put a little pouch in here, you shake it up, you put it out somewhere, you shoot it, and it just explodes. And it's a really cool effect. <clears throat> and it's really cheap. So, uh, basically, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be making a target. Uh, it's a small box um, slides into it. Um, basically, I put a one-inch dowel. Um, underneath it and uh, if I'm lucky this year and I get over to Home Depot before we go I can actually get a piece of plexiglass or um, or sorry not plexiglass but uh, PVC and uh, I can insert that uh, dowel in there this one however it doesn't work so um, I got a three-quarter inch one too but uh, of course that one doesn't work either. Um, it does work with that. So maybe this is not going to be complete ish, but I need the three quarter inch dowel for something else that um, hopefully one of these days I'm going to get around to building. Um, so maybe I'll, I'll, on the bottom, I'll make a three quarter inch hole. Um, or at least uh, use a Fortner bit so I can I can get it up there and, and screw it in and uh, unfortunately this is the only PVC that I have um, in this type so I'm gonna have to get over to Home Depot and pick me up a piece but uh, if you if you cut this at an angle and you shove it into the ground and it hangs up from the ground you can literally put the piece on top of it and uh, depending on you know what you get or how long it is you get um it actually is a really cool effect so um i'm going to put together the box um it's basically just a lot of gluing i've already cut off all the pieces um it is totally up to you uh, what size box you want i'm actually going to make um I'm gonna make two of these. I have four of these containers, but uh, hmm. I might make four of them. Um, problem is I don't have any more uh, two by sixes. And uh, as you can see, two by sixes are probably not the best thing to use. I'm actually uh, using some of this. And <laughs> if you can tell, uh, I can't really use this for anything else. I don't have a joiner, so I can't really make it flat. So I'm just going to make a really crude looking box. Um, I'm going to glue it up. I'm not going to use any metal whatsoever because, well, if this thing does what I think it does and this thing explodes, I don't want that coming near me. Um, so we usually put it out about 50 yards um, into an open field and it's good to go. Uh, so I'm going to do that. Um, I'm not going to show the gluing. I'm not going to well, I might sand around the little rough edges around here or something so I don't get any more slivers. I already pulled one in my finger a minute ago. But uh, I'm going to do that and I'll get back to you and I'll show you the pretty much end result on it.
This is it. All it is is glue it in. All you gotta do now, take your PVC pipe, jam it into the ground, take the top or the, the box, and place it on top of the PVC. It'll spin a little bit. It doesn't really move too much. Uh, sorry. Break it down, shake it up, put it inside. Perfect target. It might be a one shot target or it could be a two shot target depending on where you hit it. That is my guide to making the cheapest wooden targets you can make. Um, it'll be part one. Part two, I'm going to show you how to make this. This is a a uh, metal target, very cheap to make as well. So, hopefully, you stick around for that one. Should be out here in the next couple days. I uh, appreciate you watching. You have a great day.